Nervous system. You probably know that internal communication is important for a company to allow different departments to work together. It's the same with the body, which relies on the nervous system to keep every organ and limb in the loop. This system serves as the body's communication and control center. Think of the nervous system as billions of telephone lines scattered all over your body, sending electric signals faster than texts from gossiping teenagers. These lines all rely on the brain, the bossy CEO of the body. Your brain is always working nonstop, like a 7-Eleven in the middle of the business district. It uses the nervous system to send messages to the entire body, going through the spinal cord and the nerves connected to it. These nerves are messengers that carry messages from the brain to different body parts. Something as simple as watching television relies on your brain telling the nerves in your eyes to focus on what you're doing. Similarly, nerves also signal your hand to jerk away when it touches something hot. The nervous system is the only reason you can move, blink, and breathe. Without the other parts of this system, your brain will be a lonely CEO without anyone delivering its commands to the rest of your body. Circulatory system. Your heart is like Grand Central Station, where all the different trains of the city's public transportation network go through. These trains pick up passengers and deliver them to other stations before making a stop to your heart in a repeating cycle. This is how the circulatory system works. The blood flowing through your body is the train that carries oxygen and nutrients in and out of the body. It must pass through the lungs to load up on oxygen before the heart pumps oxygen-rich blood to your organs. Meanwhile, the veins bring deoxygenated blood back to the lungs for a quick refill before passing through the heart to make their delivery. This cycle keeps the body moving because every limb and organ needs oxygen and nutrients to function. This is also where you need to understand how important it is to take care of the circulatory system. Fat can sometimes clog your arteries, especially if you're the star customer of the nearest McDonald's. When that happens, it's like a huge traffic jam in the middle of the road, preventing blood from passing through efficiently and a laying oxygen supply to the rest of the body. If there's a blockage in the heart, it can restrict blood flow, potentially leading to a heart attack or other serious heart problems. Unlike your car, your blood doesn't have Google Maps to guide it to another route. So if you want your organs to have their fresh dose of O2, it's best to stay away from that Big Mac. Respiratory system. Your body needs oxygen like a car needs fuel to run. This is where your respiratory system comes in to ensure your body gets a breath of fresh air. Everything starts from your external organs, the nose and the mouth. Think of these two as club bouncers that guard the entrance to the respiratory system. They filter the air, ensuring unwanted guests, like air sediments, don't enter your body. Then they pass through your windpipe, which branches into smaller roads called bronchi. The lungs do their thing as soon as the air enters the bronchi. Your lungs are a pair of fluffy sponges that expand and contract with each breath you take. When you breathe in, your lungs inflate to allow oxygen from the air to pass through blood vessels. This is where oxygen waits for blood to pick it up, like a grade schooler waiting for the school bus every morning. When you breathe out, your body releases all excess gases, including carbon dioxide. This process also allows the body to get rid of waste materials. But as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. In this case, we're talking about plants, which use that CO2 and bring that O2 back to your respiratory system. Digestive system. The digestive system is your body's very own theme park, the Gut Express, because everything that goes through your mouth goes through the gut in a systematic way. Your mouth is where all the action starts, as it starts watering with saliva the moment you see your favorite cheeseburger. As food enters your mouth, it mixes with your spit, which starts to digest it, pretty much turning your food into a smoothie in your mouth. This breaks food down into smaller bits to prepare it for the ride down to stomach town. Food goes down the esophagus, the tube between your mouth and the stomach. The stomach is where the rougher part of the ride begins, because it breaks everything down using powerful acids that turn your food to look like mashed peas and carrots called chyme. It's when the chyme gets to the intestines that the experience becomes messier. The small intestine absorbs nutrients from food while working with the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to break the food down even further. This is how the body gets the energy it needs. Then whatever is left is taken into the large intestine, leaving behind the things the body never needed. The gut express ends with a literal flush down the toilet through its partner, the excretory system. Excretory system. It might be the shittiest job in the body, but the excretory system is just as important as ensuring your pipes at home aren't clogged. 
The excretory system is the body's backstage cleanup crew, dealing with the aftermath of the digestive system. It also works together with the urinary system, ensuring that everything that doesn't belong in the body gets flushed down. After your food goes through the entire process of digestion, that slice of pizza turns into feces, a smelly chunk of waste in your large intestine. The colon and the rectum work together when the body tells you that it's now time to make a run for the nearest restroom. This duo pushes the feces down your intestine and through the opening on your anus. As soon as it exits the body, the feces sinks to the bottom of the toilet, ready for some of that whirlpool action down the drain. Your skin is also part of the system because it sweats out excess salts and toxins while keeping you feeling cool. That means that the excretory system isn't just all about unloading last night's dinner, but also sweating it out. It might be true that there's nothing glamorous about this job, but it keeps your body running efficiently from behind that bathroom stall. Endocrine System The endocrine system is basically the puppeteer that controls our movements and emotions through its invisible strings taking the form of glands and hormones. Deep inside your brain is a hormone factory that puts Santa's workshop to shame. But instead of elves, we have glands producing different hormones that do their own stuff. The pituitary gland is the multitasker that manages growth and mood swings, ordering the body to grow taller or telling it to become stressed. Then there's the thyroid gland, which works with the digestive system to find the perfect metabolic balance. And you can't forget about the adrenal glands, the break glass in case of emergency glands that pump you with adrenaline when you need to fight or flee. But glands are not the only parts of this hormone workshop. We also have the pancreas, which controls your blood sugar level, and your ovaries or testes, whichever your body has, acting as your romance department and filling you with sexual hormones for a night of romance. The endocrine system tends to work double time during puberty when your growth and sexual drive go into overdrive. So if you're a teenager changing new clothes sizes every week, blame it on those hormones. Skeletal system. If you try constructing a building without posts, beams, and other foundational structures, it's just going to fall apart, like the big bad wolf blew two piggy houses. The same logic applies to the human body, which needs the skeletal system. Your skeleton is your body's framework. Every bone in the skeletal system works to ensure your body gets the physical support it needs to move and function properly. Without bones, you'd just be falling apart to the ground like a puddle of organs and muscles that can't move. But your skeleton provides structure. Every single bone is there for a reason. But probably the three most important ones are the skull, ribcage, and spine. Your skull acts as the house for your fluid-filled brain, ensuring that a punch on the head won't turn your brain into mashed potatoes. Meanwhile, your ribcage is just as important because it acts as the protective fence for your heart. Then we have the spine, the literal backbone of the skeletal system. It keeps you upright and houses the spinal cord. Plus, it's super bendy, allowing you to move well no matter how many awkward TikTok dances you do. Muscular System Your muscles aren't just for attracting those ladies with chest pumps or for lifting giant weights like John Cena does. Instead, muscles are responsible for all your moves, from lifting a spoon to attempting to outrun Usain Bolt. Your muscular system is like a construction site where tiny workers in the form of muscle fibers constantly lift, pull, and push. If you need to high-five someone, different muscles like the biceps and the triceps work flawlessly together in a tag team. And if you want to dance, your leg muscles ensure you can bust out your best moves. But your muscles aren't just about voluntary movement, because some muscles are responsible for involuntary movements as well. The most important involuntary muscles are found in the heart, ensuring that it keeps pumping blood 24-7 or lungs breathing in and out during your sleep. Immune System your body is like a medieval castle that needs to be protected from invaders, such as viruses, pathogens, and deadly bacteria. While the walls are there to keep the invaders at bay, they usually aren't enough. Your immune system is there as the second line of defense. As harmful invaders breach the castle walls, your white blood cells, the armored knights patrolling the castle grounds, spring into action to fight them off. When you get a fever, that's when you know that your white blood cells are working hard to protect your body. Meanwhile, your immune system also relies on the lymphatic system, acting as a secret series of tunnels for your white blood cells. This is where the white blood cells rely on vessels and nodes that transport them around the castle. The immune memory is the castle's library. Once your immune system defeats an invader, it remembers how it kicked its butt. 
So if the same bad guys try to sneak into the castle again, your cells can beat them quicker. We can't forget about the spleen. Acting as the castle armory, it houses all the weapons your cells need to recognize and defeat unwanted visitors. So the next time you get a cut or catch a cold, imagine a huge battle inside your body. Urinary System Everything building needs a sound plumbing system, ensuring all the nasty fluids make their way out into the sewers. Your body also has a built-in plumbing brigade in the form of your urinary system, which has one mission, to keep your internal waters flowing smoothly. They may be the most popular organs on the black market, but your kidneys are important parts of this system. When you drink water or any other liquid, there are excess minerals and substances that the body doesn't need. The kidneys separate waste and excess fluids to create urine, ensuring only the best stuff stays in circulation. Then we have ureters, the pipes that transport urine to the bladder. As soon as urine reaches the bladder, this elastic balloon-like sac holds the liquid in place, acting as a temporary storage facility until nature starts calling. When the bladder is all filled up, that's when it's time to go to the nearest toilet. It's like nature's way of saying, to pee or not to pee, that is the question. This is where the urethra comes in, acting as the large pipe that pushes all that liquid waste to a graceful exit from your body. Just like your body's urinary system keeps everything moving, our community can help you stay connected and informed. Join our Discord to flow with us and talk more about human body parts and systems. Reproductive System the reproductive system is the part of the body that ensures that we have children and pass our genes down our bloodline. But it's also why Hollywood never runs out of sexual plot lines. Think of it as the body's own production line for making tiny humans. At the heart of this operation are the gonads, testes for guys, ovaries for gals. The testes whip up sperm, while ovaries hold on to the eggs. And let's not overlook the equipment. Guys come equipped with a friendly neighborhood penis, and girls come with vaginas. When mom and dad are in the mood, or we're too drunk, they go to bed and get down to business, and allow the sexual magic to happen. It's like the world's most awkward handshake when their tools meet, dad has to release his sperm which meets mom's egg in the fallopian tubes, millions of sperm compete for the ultimate prize of being the first to fertilize that egg. Once daddy has planted the seeds of the next generation, the fertilized egg becomes an embryo that develops inside the woman's uterus. It has a nine-month lease on this temporary Airbnb crib before childbirth. Nature's eviction notice introduces Junior into the real world as a newborn infant. Integumentary System Skin it's not all about aesthetics and 14-step skincare products for the integumentary system. Otherwise known as your skin, this system's primary objective is to act as your body's first line of defense against the elements, harmful objects, and the occasional clumsy episodes that lead to scraped knees. While it doesn't hurt to look good, the skin is there to fend off germs and UV rays. It's your body's outer filtration system because it allows nutrients, water, and other helpful stuff to get in while keeping the dirt and bacteria out. But the skin is also part of the sensory system, allowing you to feel heat, cold, and pain. It's the body's built-in review system that describes physical experiences as either good or bad. So if you touch a kettle and get your hand burned, your skin will tell your brain that this is a bad experience. More importantly, the skin is the elastic suit of armor that keeps the flesh from getting exposed and ensures your organs are never out of place. Because your skin is important, you should remember that keeping it healthy isn't just about vanity and looking like your K-pop idols, it's also about ensuring that your body's natural rain coat protects everything under it. Sensory System Every house needs a built-in surveillance system to keep you on your toes for those unwanted invaders. The body also has a similar system called the sensory system, which includes a special team of role players with their own responsibilities. The first is vision, armed with cameras in the form of our eyes. This guy's job is to capture every detail, from watching the sunset to checking out that cute girl walking past you in the mall. But its main job isn't all about sightseeing, instead it keeps you guarded, especially if you spot danger from dozens of feet away. Up next is hearing, the guy responsible for eavesdropping. Through your ears, hearing allows you to pick up whispers from across the room or loud noises from your alarm clock first thing in the morning. This part of the system ensures that you're aware of what's happening around you even when you're not keeping an eye on everything. Smell, of course, uses your nose to sniff everything out, from freshly baked cookies to the mystery of who farted in a crowded room. It can be both a blessing and a curse because it allows you to sense flowers or the confusing, chaotic stench of durian. 
Touch is the clingiest part of the group because this guy always has to make skin-to-skin -skin contact. It's the tactile investigator that allows you to feel textures and temperatures. You can't feel a soft kitten's fur without touch. Similarly, it can also keep you jumpy, especially if hot coffee gets spilled on you. Finally, we have Taste rounding up this five-person surveillance crew. Using your tongue, Taste takes you on a wild ride of flavors that make life entertaining. From the sweet taste of chocolate to the burning sensation of peppers, Taste always surprises you while giving you an idea of what not to eat on your next gourmet adventure. Together, they make up the ultimate bodyguard team that keeps your body protected and entertained 24-7.